Scorpio. Welcome to Angel Love 333. We're going to do your love reading today. And as always, please remember this reading may not resonate with every Scorpio out there. And take the messages how they resonate with you. All right. Um, there will be an extended reading link in the description box if you want to check that out. There is also a playlist link if you want to check out your other signs for more messages and guidance. And then also I do do a monthly giveaway. I do give away free personal readings each month. So to enter, you just need to subscribe, like, and comment. If you're already a subscriber, thank you. Uh, you just need to like and comment. So I hope everyone's well, healthy, and safe. And let's pull some energy oracle cards here for you, Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know in love? Or what is the current energy for Scorpio? Okay, Scorpio, it feels like you have a lot of your guides and your angels around you at this time. I feel um, for some of you, you know, I'm seeing on the bottom of the deck, you have here indecisions, that, that crossroads energy. So I feel like you're really being led by spirit at this time. Um, you have the healer of eight ages and you have the door to spirit. So some of you, I feel here, you may be healers, right? You may be do, doing something um, where you are being of service to others. You have a healing energy right now. For some of you, I feel here, this may be your own healing. And I feel spirit is definitely guiding you at this time, right? I feel also, too, you're going through some sort of transition. And I feel this is about... A transition of your fulfillment what makes you happy and I feel like you're really being guided here to, towards your your peace and happiness I also see the healer of ages <coughs> excuse me this yellow energy I see that as the heart chakra. I mean not the heart chakra the um, solar plexus chakra which is right below our rib cage we hold a lot of emotions there and i see here too there's this uh fiery energy as well so i feel like you're really being led to maybe something that you're very passionate about just in life in general doesn't have to uh, do with your love situation or actually i should say you know because of your love situation you may be going through some sort of spiritual awakening as well but you're definitely being protected is what i'm getting because you also have here the first chakra which is the root chakra archangel michael so i do feel like you're being protected and guided at this time by your angels and your guides here and you also have here a uh, strategy okay so I feel on one hand, your angels and guides are strategizing to lead you in the right direction. I feel in life in general, not just in love. But this also may be your own strategy here, right? You uh, may be going through a spiritual awakening, like I said, and uh, there is some sort of indecision, a crossroads energy. And you're being guided here, I feel, uh, down the right path. So very nice energy. Let's pull some cards here from the tarot. See what additional messages come out for you, Scorpio. Wow, okay, Scorpio. Yeah, definitely looks like you're going through some sort of healing, some sort of disappointment. All right. Okay, yeah. Bottom of the deck here, you have the High Priestess. Yeah, you're coming across Scorpio as somebody who is very intuitive at this time. And I feel your angels and your guides are definitely sending you message through your thoughts, through your feelings. And I sense here you may have recently gone through some sort of painful situation, disappointing situation. And I'm going to also let you know I may not hold up the cards as much as I normally do only because um, my wrist is hurting. 
today, right? I don't know, carpal tunnel, whatever you want to call it, but <laughs> right. Um, I'll try with my right hand. So with the high priestess, yeah, definitely an energy I feel here. You're very connected right now to spirit and definitely guiding you through your thoughts and your feelings. And as I said here, I feel like they're trying to lead you to your happiness here with the, the three of cups. Now, you have the uh, four of cups here and you have the full card. So the energy that I'm getting with these two cards, there is some sort of offer I feel that may be being presented to you here, but I feel like you're hesitant to accept it. I feel some of you, I feel may uh, feel that you're better off being single or there is some sort of new endeavor um, that you are pursuing or just wanting something new in your life when it comes to love. I do feel like there is somebody around you that hurt you. I feel that disappointed you. And it may be this person that is presenting uh, this new offer towards you. Okay. Um, I feel there's other opportunities here. And I get the energy that there is a new beginning here if you want it, right? I feel there is some sort of, either this is a past person I feel returning, wanting to rekindle things, or this is just a new offer that is coming your way, right? To give you a new start, a new beginning, taking that leap of faith. For some of you, you know, I feel here you just may be very guarded, reluctant, um, and you still may be going through your healing um, of another situation because you have the five of cups and you have the three, three of swords. Definitely shows me here disappointment, feeling loss here, right? Healing, okay? May have still some built up emotions as I was saying here with the solar plexus chakra. That's where we hold our emotions. You have the hangman and you have the three of pentacles. So I feel like you're starting to see things from a different perspective. As I said, I feel there's some sort of offer being presented. For some of you, it can be new love and some of you, this could be somebody you're already dealing with. But it's an energy where I feel you're not too sure, right? I feel like you're not too sure whether you want to accept this offer, right? Maybe you're not too sure if you want to date other people or even work things out with a particular person. I feel like you're really trying to get to a place where you can feel more grounded and more stable. And, you know, this may be specific messages uh, for some of you out there, but I'm going to clarify these and see if we can get some more clarity around this. All right, actually put these backwards. Some of you I get here too, if you're wanting to work out things with a particular person, you may be feeling like this person rejected you as well, right? Feeling disappointed, feeling like there is a delay. Could even be a third person um, in the mix here. All right. Okay. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Scorpio? Why is the Four of Cups? Oh, oh boy. Okay, we got way too many cards there. I feel like that one wants to drop out, though. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, spirit was telling me to take that card. You got the full energy there again. Why is the um, Four of Cups and the full card here, please? You have the Ace of Pentacles, and you have the Six of Wands, yeah. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Six of Swords. I feel what Spirit is saying here is that I feel there is some opportunity that's coming your way that's creating a new beginning, and it's more about... Um, I feel your happiness, doing what's good for you, doing what's good for your soul, right? Releasing past baggage, re releasing past hurts, because I do feel that the universe is bringing some sort of nice offer your way, something for the long term. It shows me success here, and I feel this is too about forward movement. Now, um, I feel here, you know, you may have moved on from a particular person here with the Six of Swords because you do also have here 
the lover's card, okay? Showing me that there was a strong connection, right? Or you could be dealing with somebody who is at a distance. You also have here the devil card, strong Capricorn energy. You also have strong Gemini energy as well. So this may be an unhealthy relationship, maybe something toxic, but it can just be, um, you know, having a hard time letting go of a connection here. But I feel intuitively, okay, your guides and angels are trying to lead you in a certain direction. For some of you, I feel here, um, you're being led maybe to move on from this connection, okay? Because there is some sort of new offer coming in for you and it shows success here but let's pull some more cards see what comes out thank you angels and spirit for your guidance why is the five of cups here please five of cups and the three of swords you have the princess of wands you have the queen of pentacles and you have the three of swords and bottom of the deck here you have the queen of cups Okay, so definitely show here that you have a lot of feelings for this person that I feel there was uh, some sort of hurt or loss. Now you have the prince, princess of wands, you do have the queen of pentacles and you have the three of swords. You know, again, going back to these initial cards that came out, the energy oracles, I feel that you are healing from this situation. I feel you're coming out of it, getting to a place where you're feeling more grounded and also feeling more passionate as I felt here with the healer of ages. Some of you may be pursuing some sort of new endeavor or new hobby or even um, a new career or going back to school because I feel through this situation, um, I almost feel like this is an awakening for you or self-discovery. I feel that you are becoming more passionate, right? Um, through your self-growth, through your healing is what I'm getting here. I do feel like, um, you know, for some of you too, this Ace of Pentacles, this could be about some new career that you are pursuing as well where you're going to be successful. And so I'm getting here that there may be a love opportunity coming in for you, but I'm not too sure, um, you know, whether you're going to take it. It feels like there's hesitation or there is some sort of delay. And it may be Spirit is leading you on the path of growth and um, a new career or a new business. Queen of Pentacles can be somebody who is starting their own business or earning extra money. So clarifying the hangman and the Three of Pentacles, you have the Five of Wands. You have the Four of Pentacles and you have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, definitely see some sort of ending here. And you have the Temperance, could be dealing with the Sagittarius. I feel there's an energy here, Scorpio, where I feel like you're dealing with a situation that definitely ended. It was very painful. It could even be someone may have betrayed you as well, or you may just feel betrayed. But I'm sensing here there is some sort of delay, I feel, um, or just that you are seeing things differently now in this past uh, connection where you know, things just weren't working here with the five of wands or you and this person just weren't seeing things eye to eye. Now you have the four of pentacles here. Okay. It feels like there's still some sort of attachment, you know, whether it's your person or this is you. Um, it is uh, earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus and or Virgo definitely could be your person. You have the temperance on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Definitely get an energy. Again, your angels and spirit guides are around you. I do sense here, here's that, that indecision, that two of wands crossroads energy here, okay, that we saw in the beginning. So I definitely get that energy that you are definitely, look at that. And then here's the high priestess again. I feel like you're, you're definitely thinking about this situation. I feel like you're trying to use your intuition, your wisdom, and uh, again, here is that devil energy, 
okay so you may still be feeling tied to this or maybe you're still thinking about the situation having a hard time you know getting past the hurt and the disappointment here is what i'm getting or you know whether this person rejected you or not okay i do see there is potential for new love or new career something like that I am going to take this to the extended, you know, I do feel like there's some sort of attachment here to this past person, you know, whether it's just lack of clarity or, you know, you're still hoping to work things out. So I am going to take it to the extended. We're going to look at that person. We're going to see what the potential is there, if there is any, any, and then we're also going to look, look at new love. We're going to see what comes out of this. But I definitely feel you're being guided here, right? So really listen to your intuition and your thoughts about a situation. So uh, Scorpio, I hope to see you on the extended. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.